The United States has recently begun to tap its vast reserves of natural gas thanks to the drilling process of hydrofracking, or fracking, because two extra syllables is not the American way. <laughs> but are we prepared to pay the costs? Asif Manvi reports. We all know the benefits of fracking, but residents of fracking affected Bradford County, Pennsylvania, say it also has some minor downsides. Fracking has ruined our quality of life. Our water contamination here is moving through all Bradford County. Every day there's something new that happens. I had rashes, neurological problems, sleep disruption. Cows had nosebleeds. Maybe a cows are doing cocaine. I never caught them doing cocaine. Really? Well, Marita Noon from Energy Makes America Great doesn't see a problem with fracking. Fracking is safe. Because the average person doesn't understand fracking, the environmentalists are able to use fear, uncertainty, and doubt to plant ideas into people's minds. And they don't do the research for themselves. You need a tissue. Yeah. But the gas companies have done the research, along with plenty of investigations into the residents' complaints. If I polluted my neighbor's water well, do you think that the DEP would allow me to conduct my own investigation and get back to them on it? If your water's contaminated, why not just go to the local store and get yourself some Evian? I've done that. The stores don't have water on the shelves. I suggest you live here for a month and see how we feel when we live out of a bottle. Are you hitting on me? No, not at all. Sounds it's... like you're hitting on me. No, nope, it's not what I meant. You're sending mixed messages, young lady. Hmm. See what's going on here. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Fracking. But Noon says the last thing oil and gas companies need are pesky regulations. Oil and gas companies are quite good at self-regulating or self-policing because when there are bad actors, it hurts everybody. Is there a way that oil and gas companies could be better than they are? I would say no, actually. These oil and gas producers that are there care about the community. See, they care about their communities, and there's no way they could be better corporate citizens, despite one or two teeny tiny snafus. A drilling crew punctured the pipeline located south of Dallas. A dozen small earthquakes over the past few years were an indirect result of fracking. An explosion at the Chevron oil refinery in Pascagoula, Mississippi. If a well explodes, the company should at least alert the landowner. And what is more direct than a smoke signal and the smell of sulfur? The oil and gas industry is not being responsible to the people around here. Actually, they couldn't be more responsible. Like when a gas well exploded in Greene County, Pennsylvania, Chevron came to the rescue with immediate compensation. Chevron come in, they ordered um, 100 pizzas, 100 bottles of pop. Wait, pizza? They bought pizzas? Yes. There was a fire, a person died, and Chevron compensated people with pizzas. I mean, they gave gift certificates out to the community. And so how much does that come to altogether? Right around $1,000, huh? A thousand bucks a pizza? No, $1,000 for the 100 bottles of pop and the 100 Wait, feet. Wait, $1,000 total? Yes. So Chevron bought 100 gift certificates, good for just one pizza with just one topping, which expires May 1st, 2014. Thank goodness Greene County's first responders were able to handle the demand. So your heroes? I wouldn't say that. No, I mean your heroes. How are they? Are you talking about subs? Yeah. Our sandwiches are good. I couldn't wait to deliver this disaster contingency plan to the residents of Bradford County. You have politicians getting campaign funds from these people. They are taking our property. They are mortgaging the subsurface. Okay, everybody calm down. You guys are getting really upset. If your daughter could die from this, wouldn't you be upset? If your oh, largest investment okay. loses property oh, value overnight. Okay. all right. You can't okay. cook and clean for okay. your family. Just, Talk about business. Okay, you business. all right, everyone calm down, okay? It sounds like you're hungry. I know just the trick. Pizza! Huh? Who loves pizza? We want our water back. Period. We want our life so back. We want don't want your pizza. All right. I'm going to throw in a two-liter bottle of soda. How about a DEP investigation? Yeah. Okay, look. Regulatory reform is going to take forever. Pizza, 30 minutes or less. You cannot live without water. I mean, we have water pollution. We, we have uh, air pollution. 
What were you saying? Keep going. Not too bad. <laughs> it's good, right? See, America, the solution is as easy as pie. Awesome, Monby. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.